What's your plan now? What do you want to do? What's your passion? Well, what would you do with money where no object? Just follow your passion. If you're still trying to figure things out, you've probably heard these questions and comments a lot. It can be very frustrating and quite exhausting. I know it is for me. These days, it seems like there's so much pressure on us to follow our passion. And while this may be simple for the few people who knew what their passion was from a young age, uh, it's not easy for the rest of us. All right, today I'm doing a little hike to Mount Tam and uh, my man Jordan's gonna meet up with me and, and uh, take some photos as well. Dude, my car was like not opening for a second. <laughs> oh, dude. What's up, bro? What up? Yeah, dude. How can we follow a passion when we don't yet feel a purpose and clear sense of direction? This urgency to find a passion and start contributing to society puts an unnecessary weight on our shoulders. Each day that goes by where we haven't discovered a role to flourish in can make us feel more and more like a failure. This idea that we can achieve anything that we set our minds to is awesome if you have a direction, but it can be pretty discouraging if you don't know what it is that you want to achieve yet. I'm still trying to uncover my passion and discover what it is that I will contribute to society, but along my journey, I have learned some things that may help you relieve the pressure of finding your passion. My name's Kyle, and I'm on a journey to find a little more balance so you can too. Please subscribe for new videos every Thursday. All right, update though. Uh, we are in, I don't even know where we are. <laughs> Somewhere in the woods. Give a quick panoramic shot and it's blurry. Of course it's blurry. Pressuring ourselves to find a passion doesn't really work from my experience. You know, all it really does for me is cause anxiety and just brings me down. If you haven't found your passion, then I urge you not to measure your success based off of how passionate you're feeling. You're not a failure if you haven't found your passion yet. I think uncovering a passion is something that happens pretty slowly and naturally. We don't just wake up one day and suddenly feel enlightened about what our passion is. It's not like a beam of light is just gonna shoot into us and all of a sudden we'll be passionate about something. Rather, I think an interest builds gradually over time. The other day I was reading this article by Christine Wormeyer and she described passion like a butterfly in your hand. It's not something you can pounce on, hold tight and capture. It comes to you only when you are relaxed and open to it. And I think this is a pretty damn accurate statement. Pretty neat little hike uh, we got going on today. All right, Jordan, uh, how you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling, feeling motivated on this hike. You know, nothing like being out in nature with a buddy, you know? <laughs> Hell yeah. So instead of pressuring ourselves to find a passion, I think what we should be focusing on instead is following our curiosity. You know, uh, what interests you? What are you drawn to? Maybe give it a try. If you tried it and you didn't like it, maybe try something else. If you did like it, maybe try it some more. There are no rules, expectations, or pressure. Just the freedom in following the things that you enjoy. It doesn't need to take the form of a career or a major, but rather could be what you do with your free time. 
There doesn't need to be a purpose or a direction. Just simply the joy you get from exploring something new. Enjoy what you're doing. Be awkward. <laughs> be, be dumb. But enjoy what you're doing, because otherwise, why are you doing it? Um, yeah, I mean, like, two friends on a hike making a video. What else do you need? Like, that's, that's fun. Sign me up. Ask me to do this anytime, Kyle. I, am, I will do it. <laughs> we're a couple idiots, but we're having fun. Whether you like this video or not. <laughs> You know how long we've walked? Uh, maybe like a mile and a half. Ooh, I am out of get, shape. Getting, get burning <laughs> these calories, dude. So wake me up. What a beautiful day. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. I know that sometimes all of the uncertainty can feel stressful and overwhelming, but I offer you this perspective. Be grateful for this time because there will probably be a point in our lives when the uncertainty is gone and we have things all figured out. When we're older, we'll probably look back and remember these young days and miss the excitement that this time had. So enjoy this period of life and try not to take it all too seriously because it's an adventure and it's supposed to be fun and not stressful. This is the time to take risks and discover things. Our whole lives are ahead of us, so enjoy this journey. Till I go So go have fun, try some things, and detach from the results. Be honest with yourself about what it is that you enjoy doing most. When you find something you love, give it your all, because the passion will come. It's just another step on the journey to finding a little more balance. See my baby in the afternoon when I leave here, I'm going to live with you. You got your sandwich up? Oh, yeah, dude. Bomb. Good find. Good, good. The turkey is nice and tender. The mayo. I don't know, dude. This mayo is just really... Hitting the spot. <laughs>